Hey everybody, B-Snags here. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to clean a vintage action figure and how to fix a warped limb or any kind of bent weapon or accessory. I picked up these two figures for cheap at a flea market and they need a little bit of TLC so I'm going to show you how to do it. First up we're going to take a look at Barada here. He's quite dirty but he's in really good condition other than that. You can see his sleeves are really a little discolored and stained and he's got this kind of brown crust all over him. He's quite dirty but he's in really good condition so if you can just clean him up he's going to be in good shape. Now the only product you're going to need is Goo Gone. You can get this at any uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever kind of hardware or craft store is probably going to have this. It comes in a spray bottle or you can even get it in uh, other types of bottles. Now I'm going to pour some water in here and you want it to be really warm, just about hot, but not hot that you're going to burn your hand, so just really warm. So you're going to want to submerge him in the warm water. It's almost hot. It's really, really warm, but not, not hot. And you want to kind of let it, let the dirt start to work itself off and loosen up. And you, you'd rather not have to use the Goo Gone or any kind of product. If you can do it with just water, you're better off. Because you don't want to mess up the paint. You don't want to eat away at that. Some people will use peroxide or um, rubbing alcohol. I don't typically do that. It, it, it often will take the paint off, but if you're careful, you can use it. I try not to. That's really a last resort for me. So you're going to want to let them sit for a while, and you can even start to kind of rub it with your finger a little bit. And you can see a lot of times it'll start cleaning up right away. Other times, see, so you can actually see the brown is almost, it's like half off. That was a lot dirtier when I first showed it to you. So the next step, we're gonna hit it with Q-tips. So you get the Q-tip real wet, and hopefully you can see that it's still pretty dirty up in the neck area. I'm just gonna use a lot of pressure, especially in areas that you know isn't paint. His chest is a yellow plastic. So you can see the Q-tip, the camera's picking up. See how it's dirty? It's coming right off already. I might not actually have to use the Goo Gone at all, but just rub all the, all the dirty areas you know it'll really clean up pretty quickly he's got a lot of dirt on his shoulder here it's, it's coming right off you know he's getting a whole shade brighter right away so he's looking a lot better and a lot of the areas with the creases and the crevices of the mold it tends to collect a lot of dirt the number one thing you don't want to do on a nice figure like this is wipe any of the scrub any of the paint off. That's just number one. So he's looking a lot better already. So you can see just how dirty that Q-tip is. Now you're gonna to want to do it. You're gonna to want to do it a couple times to really get it all off. You know, get it to to where you're comfortable with it. You know, right now he's pretty much as good as new. A lot of times uh, water will do the trick, but just for uh, just to show you for the video, I'll show you what you can do with the Goo Gone. So I dried the figure off, and he's pretty much clean. But I'm going to show you anyway. Now, a lot of times you'll notice you'll get an old figure, and it'll be a little sticky from like maybe plastic degradation or. Maybe something got on it. Goo Gone is good for that, but also just try using hot water. Some people also use a little bit of uh, soap, but you gotta make sure you're using regular soap, not any kind of scented. But now you take the Goo Gone, and I'll squirt it like that, just onto the tip, not too much, just the right amount. And if you had, let's say, a real dirty spot here, considering this part isn't painted, you could scrub and scrub until it comes off, and the Goo Gone, it doesn't leave, you know, it leaves a little residue, but you can just wipe that away. I've used it to clean just about any kind of mark or paint rub off of any old figure. And it's good for anything, not just Star Wars, really any 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 action figures at all. Now, as for EV-99 here, this figure notoriously, uh, the, the legs go crooked. As you can see, his right leg looks pretty decent, but the left one is totally bow-legged. And that sort of thing happens a lot on, on this figure particularly, but also it also happens a lot on accessories, weapons, 
they get bent over time sometimes from sitting in storage but there is a way to partially remedy this and uh, it usually works out really well for the most part so the first step you want to turn your water on and you want to get it hot pretty much I mean you're not, you're not trying to get boiling water but it should burn you to the touch you know it should be too hot to handle and right now that got hot really really quickly the EV99 figure, you can just pop the legs off really easily. Don't try it with the arms, but you can see that leg is really crooked. Now you hold the leg in the hot water. Now you don't want to burn your hand, but you can just let it sit in that hot water. What it's going to do is it's going to soften the plastic up like crazy. But it's not going to really negatively affect it. And right now I can tell it's real, it's real squishy. So now you just kind of go like that, bend it in the opposite direction. And look, it's straight. You might have to do it another time. See how straight it is? Now you flip it to cold, ice cold. You hit it with ice cold water right while it's in the position you want it to stay in. And bam. Now that leg is a lot straighter. Now if I could put a, put the camera down, I would have probably straightened it out a little bit more. But uh, that's pretty nice, right? Over, you know, if I, if I leave it over time, it's probably going to warp back to the way it originally was. But, but it won't go quite as much. So you just do it again. You hit it with the hot water again. And then, and then once you have it in the perfect spot, you hit it with cold. So I'll do it again. This, this works perfectly on accessories, weapons, that sort of thing. Sometimes you can't pop the leg off of a figure and you might have to do it with the figure on. In that case, you have to be really careful about the paint. You don't want to do it too hot. Now I'm going to bend it the way I want it. Sometimes bend it a little too much because it's going to go back. Hit it with the cold water. And bam, looks good. And uh, now check that out. Look at how straight those legs are. He's standing with both feet flat on the floor, whereas earlier in the video, he was only standing on the one. Now the leg probably will bend back over time, in which case it'll go a little bit. It won't go all as bent as it was. You just keep doing it, and sooner or later it'll stay that way. Well, so that about wraps up my video. Um, obviously my EV99 is missing a left arm, so if any of you guys out there have a spare left arm for an EV99, hit me up. Uh, I could trade or I'll buy it from you. And uh, go ahead and give that a shot on any of your vintage action figures. Let me know how it worked. And uh, may the force be with you.